Now your blog doesn't have to be just a series of posts. Like any other website, you can have static pages for your blog. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page. So uh, to start out with, you'll click on the design button. And then you'll navigate down the left side here and choose pages. Then you'll click on the new page button. and give it a title. We'll call this one new page. I'm going to just paste in some text that I've grabbed somewhere else, but in terms of how you might want to use a page, you can certainly um, have static resources. So one of the pages I used to have would be a, a, a list of links to math activities so that parents and students could um, practice throughout the school year, and they wouldn't necessarily be be related to anything that we were doing in class, just they were there for them. I'd also put uh, links to student-friendly websites there. Um, I always like to have some links to typing games so that students could improve their uh, typing skills. But it can be whatever you want. Um, you make the page the way you want, just like anything else. You can add pictures, etc. And we'll choose the line this time. And when you're finished making your page, you click on the Publish button. So one of the challenges with pages is that the first time you make a page, you'll notice that you can't see it on your blog. So what we actually have to do is add a Pages gadget to our blog. So we're going to click on the Design side again, or the Design link. And this time we're going to go to Layout and we're going to add a gadget. And the gadget we want to add is our Pages gadget. So we can leave the title with Pages and what we'll have to do is we have a link of pages that we want to appear we can click on new page and select it. If we want to add an external link, we can just put that in. If I want to rearrange those, I simply just drag and drop the order of the pages around. So once I'm done that, I click save. And then I click save my arrangement. And I can click here to view my blog and now I can see my new page button and I can click on it and view my page. If I want to return home I can click here or I can click on the title of my blog. Now if you'd like to change the layout of your blog to have a list of buttons at the top that your pages can appear in, simply go back to the design, click on layout again, and you can also add a pages gadget up here. So I can click add a gadget, go down, search for pages, add it, I'll say my new page, this time I won't add the Google one, I'll click save, save the arrangement, and view the blog, and now I can see that my pages appear at the top. If I want to get rid of this set of pages now, because I've got them at the top, I can click on Design, and again, go back to Layout. I can simply click on the Edit button here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and choose Remove. It'll double check to make sure that's what I want to do. I'll click OK. Save the arrangement. View my blog. Now it's gone, and I've still got the Pages button up at the top. You can also drag that Pages gadget between the two spots on your blog if you'd like. So it's going across the header here. I can drag it down to the side, place it on the side here, let it go, and it will appear there. Save the arrangement view the blog, and now my pages appear here. I'll put that 
back because I like the buttons at the top. Save the arrangement and that's it for this video.